Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited that the canter is not in Maine anymore. Yay! <laughs> Auntie Road. Anyway, Take we're so happy. Home. <laughs> we're so happy. I'm and happy. I know that Rabbi Gelman has brought us something to contemplate today, and I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah. So uh, for this week's Torah portion, I've been, I've been reading, uh, or last week's Torah portion, uh, this book from Chaim Stern. And he pulls out a, let's say, quote by Maimonides, quote in quotes, though. Uh, and so he paraphrases Maimonides in this way that, that I've been really thinking about, especially leading into the high holidays and leading into what is the path that I'm on and where am I going? So it's written, I know how many paths there are and sometimes I worry that mine cannot be right. I look to others for reassurance or I imitate them, feeling all the while a faint unease. Awaken me to faith in myself and in the path that I can choose for myself as others choose theirs. So I've been thinking a lot about this, uh, especially as this quarantine time has really like rearranged our paths for us and how each person is having to find their own paths. So this can go in so many ways, right? The way that we are ourselves in, in our work, in our passions, I'm gonna go in a simpler way. Uh, this, uh, this time of ga like light gathering in this COVID time, uh, whether you're having an outside dinner with someone, you're meeting someone at a picnic in a park, um, all of a sudden we need to be really, really intentional uh, in what we ask of each other. I wanna make sure that you're okay with the people that I have seen and the things that I have done. I wanna make sure that I'm okay with the things that you have done. And so we're in this time of consent, of really deep consent uh, in finding our paths. And just like uh, Maimonides is paraphrased here, uh, that I can choose for myself as others choose theirs, I mean, sometimes like our friend groups aren't going to come together because we have different aspects of how we gather. Um, and so that's just a thing that I've been really thinking about, uh, that we have a lot more intentional conversations before we get together for almost anything nowadays uh, to really see where are you and where am I? How are we different? How are we the same in our approaches to this? Uh, and this is what that, that Maimonides quote really made me think of. Rabbi, I love that. I'm going to jump in because I'm excited. I've been watching a lot of Chopped on the Food Network uh, recently. I don't know why. And so you got me excited and you reminded me of, of the look on their faces when they're opening up the basket and they see the ingredients that they have to use. And sometimes they have a look of horror, but sometimes they look especially excited because they know I can make something beautiful with that. And I was excited because I thought this quote is a great ingredient. It's exactly what I want to talk about right now. And I think I could make something of this. What it reminded me of was this great series that I had. And I'm sure you guys have heard me bring these up before. But the great books of Choose Your Own Adventure. Do you remember those books? <laughs> so I love those books. And I will I tell you, my kids love those, please. Love those books too. Yeah. They're, they're the best, by the way, you're the best mom, hashtag raising them right for getting your voice <laughs> to know those books. I'm so glad that it's not a lost art. I love those books. And the second you were talking about choosing and choosing and paths and paths, I thought it's so different now for me. I don't know about for everyone else, but I know that for me, we used to be on this kind of five year path plan, you know, looking at the chapter in the current choose your own adventure of my life and sort of knowing what choices I was going to make in that chapter. But all of that is completely flattened. 
And now I'm on a weird, like sometimes week by week, um, year by year, day by day, um, best not to plan too far ahead, best to sort of figure out what choices are going to be before me moment to moment. But what it's done is where I thought I was going to feel um, really uh, uneasy about it because I wasn't sure of where I was going to be in the next five or 10 years. It's actually made me just be way more present where I am right now and accepting that at this very moment, this is what's happening and this is the choice I made nice. um, and to sort of live in it. So thank you for that, Rabbi. That, that brought back some good memories. And Rabbi Conover, thank you for mentioning that about your sons. That's important. <laughs> I want to focus on the choose part of the choose your own adventure because I love those books. <laughs> um, and I, the other day, I went to go pick up some groceries at Mariano's and I was in the elevator from the garage and there's a very clear sign that said only two people in the elevator at a time. And I went in, there was another guy in there, the door was closing and then suddenly a woman held open the door and said, do you mind if I jump in? And I think my instinct was immediately to be like, of course, yes, no problem, because that's how we're trained. We're trained that, that that saying yes is the most welcoming thing at all times. It was kind of instinctual. And the other man in the elevator said, please do not come into this elevator. And he said it in a really nice way. It was very firm. It was very quick. The door closed. It was fine. Um, and so I, I think that that's the the choose part, because as soon as he said that, I felt like, oh, thank goodness, you know? <laughs> Actually, I didn't want her to be in this elevator, not because I wanted to be rude, but, you know, because we're, we're trying to be communicative right now about what we need, um, and sometimes saying no thank you is actually the kind, welcoming, caring thing to do, um, and so I think I, that just taught me that, you know, it's okay to be like, actually, no, <laughs> that, that's fine. Not like choosing for yourself and yeah, being yeah. and not and not speaking for everyone around you, yeah. right? Isn't that so great? Because uh, you know that's something that I was thinking about too, with um, the way that 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 piece ends. You know, I'll choose my way, even as others choose theirs. And in some ways, like right now, the way that others choose theirs affects us so much. Yeah. And so on, um, you know, like and. And it's interesting because, you know, I was thinking about uh, that, that, that our tradition doesn't have the golden rule in the same way um, that, it, that it's often told, which is do unto others the way that you would want them to do unto you. Um, but actually, it's, it's don't do to others what you would not want to have done unto yourself. Um, that was Hillel's version of it. And, and I, I'll say that the, the, the piece of that that I like so much is that sometimes we think, what, what we want is what others want. And so then we're going to read it onto others. And so in, in a very well-meaning way, we're giving them exactly what they don't need or what they don't want. But because we're really wanting to help them and that's what we've heard and that's how we hear we help. But sometimes it's actually take a beat, you know, and, and, and see where you need to choose your path and where they need to choose theirs um, and, and, and support them in choosing their path. Um, but you don't have to impose your path on theirs because you think that that's their right path even because it was yours. And I, I have to say that I love that this Shabbat is when we are going to welcome in Rosh Chodesh Elul, this time of truly being able to have a, begin our Cheshbon Nefesh, of beginning our, you know, our intake of our soul and see which paths we want to take most leading up into this new year. And I love that this is also the time where we start to hear that shofar blast and, and that we can feel like that's like our little alarm clock that says, hey, it's this time, choose your path wisely. And I love that we have this community in which we're, we're doing that together. We are supporting each other in choosing our own path. Um, and, and in that way, I think this is such a special time in such a special community. Yeah. So thank you so much, Rabbi Gelman, for bringing that. Yeah, um, that was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So thank nice. you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Have a good week.